Third-party cookie has been co-opted for all kinds of advertising use cases, many of which are fairly advanced, and some of which are covered by Google's privacy sandbox set of cookie-less solutions. Like topics for interest-based targeting, the protected audience API for retargeting, the attribution reporting API for, well, attribution reporting. But among the cookie's more basic uses is just keeping track of the content that someone is exposed to online, including the ads which is handy for, among other things, making sure that someone doesn't see the same ad so many times that they come to find the advertiser annoying. This is a pretty fundamental function of the third-party cookie, and it's one that a privacy sandbox proposal called shared storage addresses. For this analogy, let's say the world is the web, billboards are ads, cars are web browsers, and the people driving cars are the people browsing the web. Now to use shared storage, an advertiser basically attaches a piece of code to its ads that tells the browser to save a piece of information like the number of times someone was served a specific ad in a folder specifically reserved for that advertiser. This is like the billboard being engineered to send a signal to the car when someone drives by and the car being engineered to receive and store that signal. But the billboard doesn't just send a signal to the car, it also sends a set of instructions on what to do with that signal. In shared storage, this set of instructions is called a worklet. An important thing to know about these worklets is they stay pretty locked up. A worklet can access the information that the advertiser had the browser put in shared storage, and the worklet itself can contain information such as a list of ad IDs, but that's about it. Oh, and while we're at it, that name shared storage? So the shared part refers to how the advertiser can access what they've put in shared storage across different sites, but the storage isn't shared across different advertisers or publishers or ad tech firms or whoever. They each get their own shared storage. Okay, so back to the worklet. Worklet can access the advertiser's shared storage in the browser to do things like count up the number of times that someone using that browser has been exposed to a given ad and change out that ad if it exceeds a certain count. To be clear, shared storage can be used for things other than frequency management, like different types of cross-site measurement using Privacy Sandbox's private aggregation API. But we'll cover that in a future video. Thanks for watching.